Okay, so it's been a couple of weeks now. I think it's time we do a little pond filter update. I'm in here in the duck pond. We seem to have gone out of the algae phase. It is still dirty water. I mean, it's more of a brown color now, but it has gone away from the algae growth. Uh, it seems like this is adding some oxygen into the water. You can see the bubbles that are, it's producing. Uh, for having eight ducks in here in full sun, I'm pretty happy with it now. All I do every once in a while is kind of pull the, pull the pump up and clean some of the debris off there. And other than that, it just does its thing, and it seems to be doing a whole lot better. Uh, like I said, the ducks before were turning green because the algae was so bad. And you can see our water coming back from the filter is pretty clean. So, so far this is looking pretty good. I still want to get some more plants in here for the ducks, give them some shade and cover. But other than that, it's doing good so far. So let's take a quick look at the grow bed and filter. Uh, we've got lots of stuff growing in here now. Uh, this is a lot of lettuces here seem to be doing pretty well. We're about ready to start harvesting a little bit. The celery's doing well. A uh, little bit of yellowing on the leaves. I don't know if that's a little nitrogen deficient. Uh, Mizuna back here is starting to come up and grow pretty well. Still have the little cattail and the iris. Uh, lots of oxygen in the water coming from the solids filter. Um, still lots of stuff starting to sprout and we're hoping that more stuff uh, sprouts in here and grows and we can fill this whole thing up and it'll use up that nitrogen. But so far it looks like it's doing a pretty good job and we're pretty happy with it. So we are very happy with the results so far. Uh, I was getting really worried with how bad the algae was getting um, that this pond might not work out. Uh, it was so bad that it was actually turning the animals green. I mean, we had green ducks there for a little bit and now it seems to be very low maintenance. So I would still like to possibly do a couple of changes. I'm thinking about adding like a 35 gallon trash can in between the solid separator and the grow bed that I could maybe fill up with some like water hyacinth or some other um, pond plants that really pull the nitrogen out. But actually, I don't think the grow bed is doing too bad. It, it uh, seems to be filtering out a lot of the contaminants and the nitrogen and it's really becoming a low maintenance setup. Um, I also have thought about pumping the water out of the pond up to either some like big four inch pipe or some gutters making like a rack and um, having that flow towards the solid separator and then being able to plant in there so you would have just water trickling by the roots all the time. Um, it would just give us some more areas to grow in um, so that might be something we change down the road, but f for now at least, this is becoming a very low maintenance pond, which um, I'm really happy about because we wanted this for the ducks, but we also didn't want to be dumping this water all the time, having to clean it out, replace the water, and so far all we do is about every other week top off the pond fill it back up from what is lost from evaporation. And other than that, we don't have to do anything. The pond is doing well, and we're starting to grow some food in the grow bed. So overall, it's a win-win and looking pretty good. So thank you guys for following along. Um, we will continue to do updates on this system as the grow bed continues to expand and fill up with uh, plants and as the pond continues to cycle and uh, hopefully maintain decent biology to where we are not growing the algae. But anyways, uh, if you want to 
keep up to date, uh, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit the like button, and we will keep you guys updated on how all of this is going. Have a great weekend.